everyone, my name is Jessica Whitaker. I'm a photographer based out of New York City, and today I am going to be doing a unboxing of the Canon M50 camera. Also, I run a photography community called Build and Bloom. It's a Facebook group. We actually just reached 50,000 members. Yes, five zero comma zero zero zero. It's a great community. There's a spot for everyone at the table, and we've recently expanded this past year in February into in-person events, specifically photography workshops that are free all around the United States. So we're headed to Texas next. We will be in Texas, in Houston and Dallas on July 14th and 16th. All the information for that workshop as well as our upcoming East Coast ones and our London and Paris meetup are going to be down below in the description box. Also, if you're a girl interested in media art, we have a volunteer stream called Sister Sister, which is a monthly meetup group for girls interested in media art. We meet in about 10 cities around the United States and we also run an ambassador program where you can bring Sister Sister to you. All the information is down below, had to say it, had to include it because this is an amazing free resource, both online and in person. I'll put the timestamp for when the actual camera is unboxed for those of y'all who don't care about this more emotional part, but I do, it's not even emotional, but I wanna say that personally, I don't purchase a lot of gear. I'm super content with what I have and what I have is a blessing from the Lord, amazing. I shoot primarily on the Canon 5D Mark IV and then my like Sigma 35 lens. Since I have been doing for the past two years now, a lot of photography tutorials outside where I'm using my uh, Canon, I've been recording them on my iPhone. And the iPhone is such an amazing tool. I love it, but I wanted to have a camera to record my tutorials on because my phone battery would die super fast and it wouldn't always last the full shoot. So it made sense to me to look into a little guy to use for tutorials. I'm also excited to have this as a little option to bring around with me in Paris. My, my setup right now is very heavy, which I don't mind. I have an amazing backpack that uses a lot of aerodynamics to make it not as painful to carry around. But I just kind of realized that this would be a great Thing to invest in. Now, I asked my friends who are videographers what they recommend for me and my needs, I guess, for a camera. I wanted Wi-Fi, touch screen, I wanted the screen to pop out for convenience, and I wanted something that was light with a detachable lens. They gave me quite a few options, and even options outside of either my budget or those needs, like maybe no Wi-Fi or no detachable lens. I'll have all of those linked down below because they are really great options if you are also in the market for something like the M50. Now, let's hop into my Canon M50 unboxing. So first off, camera strap. Wait, this guy's so cute and little. We have another little guy. Oh, this is the lens. Oh my gosh, this is the lens. Wait, what is in the battery? Okay, this is not that exciting, but for me it is. Okay. Okay, this is not that exciting. I don't know. This stuff is just so cute and petite. Oh my gosh, wait, y'all. Oh, this is so cute. Wow. Oh, it's just so, look at this lens cap. Y'all, this is so tiny. You are so cute. Okay, so this comes with a kit lens. It's a zoom lens. It's 15 to 45. This is very, very lightweight. Wow. Okay. Wow, <laughs> what the heck, this is so tiny. I was not expecting it to be this little. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, you are so precious, what the heck. Screen is touch screen. It has Wi-Fi, I really needed, I wanted to have Wi-Fi as a part of the camera. Oh, this is so, so, so cute. Okay, um, I'm sure that the battery has to be charged, so I should have probably do that now. Okay, so I guess when the battery's charging, I don't really need to abandon y'all. This is so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh, why are you such a cutie? What the heck? Okay, so I think I definitely will get a little pancake lens if I can find one maybe used even or for a good deal. If it's under 200, I'll go for it. Um, but since I am filming videos, I don't really need the depth of field to be like 1.4 and I need it to be really wide, so I think this lens might even work, but maybe for photos in Europe, but that could be doing the most. Like, I probably don't need that. So yeah, I should not, I don't know. It has a little slot for um, a flash or a microphone, because people love to drag me for my audio, and I'm not about to have that, so that is a feature I definitely, definitely wanted, because the other 
I think it was like a Canon power shot, you know, the little vlogging camera that didn't have an audio option. Okay, that was a good time. That was my video, my unboxing of the M50. It's not very technical. I know I described the camera as cute 50 times. Welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe. I have a lot of photography tutorials, tips, and tricks. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That's where I hang out with you guys the most, and it's a good time over there. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.